everyone. Welcome to Miss Rhonda's Corner, a place where we gather to read books, to say rhyme, to sing song, and most important of all, to use our imagination. Now Miss Rhonda's Corner happens to be at the Canmore Public Library. Right now I'm sitting on our big blue comfy library chair and behind me is our cozy colorful storytime quilt. I would like to encourage each one of you to find your own little corner, a place where you feel cozy and comfortable and safe, a place where you can use your imagination. Perhaps you have a favorite stuffy or a toy or a favorite book or blankie that you want to bring to your corner. So take a few moments and get yourself settled. Wonderful. Now we're going to begin Miss Rhonda's Corner with a little song and a great big stretch. That's going to help prepare both our minds and our bodies for listening. So our song goes like this. In our own little corners, in our own little chairs, we can be whatever we want to be. Through our books we can travel and imagine anywhere and that world will open for us to see. Yes, that world will open for us to see. Wonderful. Now stretch your arms way up high to the sky. Let your imagination fly. Stretch your arms way down low to your toes. Let your imagination go. Stretch your arms way out wide to the side. Let your imagination glide. Now take a deep breath in your nose. Hold it for a moment and let it out your mouth. And give a little wiggle. Terrific. We're ready to get started. Now today's story times have a theme and the theme is really maybe doing new things. Some of you might be going to preschool or play school for the first time. Some of you might be going to kindergarten. Some of you might be having school at home this year since things are different and you'll be learning new things. Perhaps some of you have a new baby or baby brother or sister coming. There are many ways we experience new things and it's a part of growing up. So that's what today's stories are about. So we're going to start with a story called The Bus is for Us by Michael Rosen. The Bus is for Us. Now some of you might be riding school bus for the first time this year. Or some of you might just go on a city bus with mom or dad. The Bus is for Us. This is a very funny story. Here we go. I really like to ride my bike. I like going far in our car. When it starts to rain, I like the train. But the best is the bus. The bus is for us. I do, of course, like riding a horse. I like to float in a little boat. I like trips in big ships. But the best is the bus. The bus is for us. As you can see, there are more and more people getting on the bus. Sometimes I wish I could ride on a fish. If I were allowed, I'd sit on a cloud. I'd be all right up high in a kite. But the best is the bus. The bus is for us. I'd love to play in an open sleigh. Fly to the moon in a hot air balloon or for a dare ride on a bear. But even so, the bus is the best. The best is the bus, 
That's because the bus is for us. And there we have the bus whizzing by. Wonderful. Now we're going to sing a very familiar song about a bus. You're going to recognize it right away. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. What else happens? The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all day long. How about the doors on the bus? The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all day long. What else happens on the bus? The children on the bus bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus bounce up and down all day long. How about when it's raining? What might happen to the wipers? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. Wonderful. Now our next story is called Foxy by Emma Daw. It's the story about a little girl who's quite nervous, a little bit worried about going to school the next day, and how Foxy, who's a little bit magical, helps her. Let's read this story together. It was way past bedtime. Tomorrow was Monday, and Emily would be starting school. Emily sat up in bed. She looked worried. What's the matter, asked Foxy. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can help. I'm worried, said Emily. I'm worried I haven't got all the things I need for the first day of school. Hmm, maybe some of you have a few worries as well. Foxy wanted to help Emily and he thought he would be able to do that with his magic tail. Foxy waved it back and forth and back and forth so Emily would notice. I don't need a tail for school, said Emily. I need a pencil. Voila! A pencil, said Foxy. No, silly, that's a penguin, said Emily. Oh. Foxy tried again, and this time he came up with a pencil. There it is. Now I need a pencil case, said Emily. Thank you, Foxy. I also have to bring a notebook. Let's see if he gets the notebook right. Ta-da! A notebook. Hmm, does that look like a notebook? Does it look like a blackboard? I guess magic is hard, said Emily. Oops, let me try that again. There we go. That's better. And here's an eraser. Oh my goodness, does that look like an eraser? That's an elephant. Uh-oh, said Emily. There, Foxy got it right that time. There's an eraser. I'd love some new school shoes, Emily suggested. Voila, look at those shoes. Um, thank you, Foxy, Emily said politely but I think I'll wear my boots to school instead. <laughs> Those look a little big for her. How about a new hat, asked Foxy. Oh, never mind. I'll wear it myself. And here's a school bag. No, silly, that's a pirate flag. Emily still looked worried. Now what's the matter, asked Foxy. What if I am not smart enough, asked Emily. Foxy touched Emily with his magic tail. and All these ideas came into her head. 
Oh dear, said Emily, I think I would rather learn these things at school. And one last thing, said Emily, what if nobody likes me? Now you don't need my magic for that, Emily, said Foxy. I know you'll make plenty of friends at school. There's the last page with all these magical stars on it. Terrific. One thing that we often learn at school are our letters. How they look, how they sound, how they make up words. So we're going to do a little rhyme with some letters. And you can follow along as the letters pop up. A, B, C, D, E. School is where I want to be. F, G, H, I, J. Learning to read and write each day. K, L, M, N, O. Boys and girls, I want to know. P, Q, R, S, T. Reading books to you and me. U, V, W, X, Y. Now it's time to say goodbye. Z, Z, or Z, Z, I think they've gone to sleep. And they're dreaming that school is where I want to be. Should we try that again? A, B, C, D, E. School is where I want to be. F, G, H, I, J. Learning to read and write each day. K, L. M N O boys and girls I want to know P Q R S T reading books to you and me U V W X Y now it's time to say goodbye Zzz. school is where I want to be good job everybody perhaps some of you are quite young and aren't yet going to preschool or play school, but perhaps you're going to have a new baby brother or a new baby sister. So our final story today is called Cornelius P. Mutt. Are you ready for baby? By Barney Salzberg. This is a little pig family. Here we go. Cornelius P. Mutt, there's someone I'd like you to meet. This is the someone and this is Cornelius. Can he play? asked Cornelius. No, not yet. Cornelius is imagining what it will be like to play. Can he talk? Like this little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had to go potty and went wee, wee, wee all the way home. No, not yet, says Mummy. Can he walk? Cornelius is imagining him walking on a tightrope. No, not yet, says Mummy Pig. Can he eat pizza? No, not yet. What can he do? He can sleep, drink, pee, poop, and cry. Oh, I wish we could send him back. Do you love him more than you love me? I have enough love for both of you, says Mummy Poop. Can I be the baby too? No, but you can hold him. Cornelius makes up a funny little song. You're a little baby, short and stout. Here is your head, here is your snout. When you're a little older, we will play. But now you're like a lump of clay. Oh my. Goodness, that's a bit of a silly song. 
I found something he can do. He can be my little brother. And there's Cornelius cuddling with him in the rocking chair. Wonderful. We're going to close with a song that talks about how we're growing and getting bigger and able to do more things. It's a very simple song. It goes, all by myself, all by myself, see what I can do, see what I can do. I can brush my teeth and my hair so neat. Oh, what else can I do? I can put my socks and my shoes on my feet. I can get my napkin and my snack to eat all by myself. Well, let's try that again. All by myself. All by myself. See what I can do. See what I can do. I can brush my teeth and my hair so neat. I can put my socks and my shoes on my feet. I can get my napkin and snack to eat all by myself. All by myself. Good job. Well, everyone, thank you for your magical listening ears. And I hope you'll enjoy all the new things this fall might bring for you. So let's say our goodbye song together. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you again next time. Thank you, and bye-bye from Miss Rhonda's Corner. <laughs>